If you're looking for the best waterproof camera, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers, and customer feedback. Also, we have included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Olympus Tough TG6. The Olympus TG series has a sterling reputation among the tough camera market not only for being sufficiently spec to handle tough conditions, but also equipped with impressive imaging and video tech. The raw shooting 4K capable TG6 is a fairly minor upgrade on the previous TG5 but adds some nifty new features like improved LCD resolution and a new underwater macroscope mode for getting in close. Producing 4K video at 30fps and offering the option to shoot full HD videos at 120fps for super slow motion. The TG6 also has a generous 25 to 100 mm optical zoom lens that lets you get closer and closer to the action. It's got a chunky hand grip providing a secure hold on the camera while the infinite zoom mechanism means the lens never produced from the body protecting it from, knock protecting it from knocks and bumps. Straightforward but sophisticated, the TG6 is quite simply the best waterproof camera around right now. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Nikon Coolpix W300. If you are a deep water explorer, this is your pick of the best waterproof digital cameras. The Nikon W300 is rated to depth of 30 meter, outstripping most waterproof cameras. And it comes with a barometer that provides useful underwater data like altitude and depth as well as an electronic compass. Bluetooth functionality is also on board and this pairs well with Nikon's Snapbridge technology for fast image transfer. Video shooters will also welcome the addition of 4K video to the W300 toolkit and the generous shockproof rating of 2.4 meter means it's extra protected against bumps and knocks. While the lack of raw support is a pity, if you're happy to stick with JPEGs, you'll find it to be a superb all-rounder for fearless underwater adventures. The number 3 position is held by Ricoh WG70. The Ricoh WG series have reputations as being the Swiss army knives of tough cameras. Like its predecessors, the WG70 is equipped with ring lights around its lens that function as a torch as well as a macro light, allowing you to see what you're doing underwater as well as keep your subjects illuminated. It's got a fair few nifty features that make it worth consideration. The microscope mode lets it focus at distances as close as 1mm, and this mode has been improved to offer higher resolution on the WG70 than it did on the previous WG60. Also, the handheld night snap captures several images of a low light scene in a quick succession and blends them together to create a blur free composite image. This is all housed in a body with serious protections, able to stay submerged in 14m of water for up to 2 hours. Next at number 4 we have Panasonic FT30. The Panasonic Lumix FT30 is in the newest waterproof digital camera here and doesn't quite offer any best in class specs but what it does offer is commensurate with its very reasonable asking price. It's also pleasingly slim enough to fit in a snug jeans pocket or similar although this does come at the cost of a secure grip. You might want to invest in a wrist strap to ensure the FT30 doesn't get away from you. Provided you keep hold of it, the FT30 is a solid and versatile waterproof camera that should prove well suited to recording your aquatic adventures in stilts form anyway. The lower video resolution of 720p means that if you're a video aficionado, you're probably better off with one of the other waterproof digital cameras on this list. The number 5 position is held by Fujifilm XP140. The design of the Fujifilm FinePix XP40 is fun and kid friendly making it a solid choice for family holidays, but this doesn't mean it skips on imaging tech. While it's not going to challenge something like the Olympus Tough TG6, it's a capable little camera in its own right, able to shoot 4K video and equipped with an impressive 5x optical zoom lens with an equivalent focal range of 28 to 140mm, and all this comes at an extremely friendly sub-200 pound price tag. 
a new scene recognition mode helps the XP140 assets for what is photography, and the controls are well laid out and easy to use, even when in murky underwater conditions. For the price, this is a really solid buy. The number 6 position is dominated by Sea Life DC2000. Sea Life cameras are the most serious underwater option. Without having to get into buying separate underwater housings and optical ports for a mirrorless camera or DSLR. The ability to be able to be taken down to depths of 60 meters and withstand temperatures down to minus 29 degrees Celsius mark out its master credentials. But it is photographically able too. Thanks to a large one inch sensor and the ability to shoot raw files, the camera comes in two parts, allowing you to take the big red outer housing off when using it on land to use the internal camera. You can buy the camera on its own, but if you are using this for deep drives, then take a look at the various kits that come with one or two lights to illuminate your subject and act as carrying handles. Moving on to the next at number 7 with GoPro Hero 9 Black. Facing fiercer competition than in the past from the likes of DJI, GoPro needed to pull something out of the bag for its 9th Hero camera. It hit on firing right back at its rivals with the inclusion of a front-facing LCD screen just as they had. This is hugely useful for vlogging, and GoPro upped the ante elsewhere as well, upping video resolution to 5K, improving the stabilization, and adding the ability to extract 14.7 megapixel stills from video, ensuring you never miss a moment. All this tech makes the Hero 9 Black a little heavier than previous cameras in the series, and its status as the new kid on the block means it's the most expensive GoPro you can get. However, if your budget stretches this far, it's currently the best waterproof action camera around. The number 8 position is held by DJI Osmo Action. The feature set and price point of the DJI Osmo Action make it pretty obvious from the get-go that its attempt to undercut the best GoPro cameras. Does it succeed? Like all things, it's complicated. The front-facing screen is a boon, the civilization is just as silky smooth as the heroes, and its wallet-friendly price is nothing to sniff at. That's not to say it's perfect. There are a few lag issues at high resolutions. The app can be unreliable, and video from the hero is a touch flatter, which counts in professional realm when it comes to the green. For an affordable alternative to the Hero 7 Black though, the Osmo Action is a fantastic choice. Next at number 9 we have GoPro Hero 08 Black. The 2019 flagship GoPro model brought in some brilliant features and is still a great buy. A key introduction was fold-out feet providing a built-in camera mount as well as the ability to accessorize the Hero 8 Black with extras called mods. We especially like the display mod because it adds a second monitor that is perfect for vloggers. There are plenty of other mods too, including a media mod for improving the production value of your videos and a light mod LED light too. These extra capabilities and the fact it's already waterproof down to 10 meters without a case make the Hero 8 Black a terrific underwater action cam. Finally, the number 10 position is nominated by Fujifilm Quick Snap Marine. This is a waterproof camera at a throwaway price. Yes, it does cost a few pounds more than your usual disposable camera, but you're getting a waterproof camera for heaven's sake. Fujifilm says its plastic case is water resistant to a depth of 10 meters, so it's likely you're going to be in trouble long before the camera is. The Fujifilm Quick Snap Marine comes loaded with 24 exposures of Fujifilm ISO 800 superior color negative film, which you should be able to get developed at any regular high street chemist or online photo lab. Control is limited, obviously, in that there isn't any. The exposure is fixed at 1 by 125 seconds at f by 10, so really you're going to need good outdoor light to get decent results, but that's true of any single use camera. That's all for today. We upload tech product review video tech product review videos every single day. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.